My birthday message to Mama Salon. Hello, Mama Salon. I'm Mal Kontana, one of your 7 million plus children. I was not around in 1961 when you gained your freedom from our grandma Britain. But my elder brothers like Professor Makbele Five, Professor J.D. Ali, Dr. Spencer, Dr. Momo, and many others narrated this event. At independence, your heart hoped for many good things for your amazing children. One of your brightest sons, Milton Magai, died exactly a day after your third anniversary. Mama, you will turn 60 next year, getting ready for retirement. In our last discussion over the Christmas break, you were apprehensive over a lot of issues. It is but fitting that we save such discussions for another day. You turn 59 years today with a lot of fears, but with great hopes that we can surmount the insurmountable. Mama, many of your younger children are worried and they claim that most part of your 59 years have been plagued by difficulties and inconsistencies. A month to your 30th anniversary in 1991, some of your disgruntled kids, led by your favorite son, Fode Sebana Sanko, waged war on our family house, and for a, de for a decade, our family home never tasted peace. Five years into the unrest in 1996, we went to your sister Abidjan to find a peaceful way out into this quagmire. Six months later, in 1997, some of your children, who were under oath to protect our family home, took up arms and toppled the head of the family, Ahmed Tijan Kaba. Our home received tremendous support from ECOWAS, and Big Brother Kaba returned to head the home nine months later. But nine months again after Brother Kaba returned, your children rained down on this home like manna from heaven and inflicted some of the most horrific and heinous crimes on a scale the world had never recorded. Today, every member of our family remembers the horrors of January 6, 1999. As a family, we still wanted to negotiate a way to peace and tranquility. It was at this juncture that Brother Kaba instructed Brother Bera to lead the team to meet one of your sisters, Lome, to mediate another peace settlement. At this mediating table, we agreed to share the affairs of running this home with some of our disgruntled brothers. This agreement didn't last long, as a peaceful protest to the residents of Podesanko claimed the lives of some of your precious children. Mama, all has not been that dark and gloomy since then. We have held four largely credible elections. Mama, your children are in tears whenever they are unable to joyfully celebrate your anniversaries. One month after your 53rd anniversary in 2014, we were confronted by Ebola, and in the ensuing 17 months, our family home crumbled on its knees as many of our compatriots succumbed to the virus. Three months again after your 56th anniversary in 2017, another natural disaster befell our home in the shape of the mudslide. To this day, we are unable to account for the exact lives that perished on that fatal morning of August 14. Mama, Corona has disrupted your 59th anniversary celebration. Already, more than 60 of your children have painfully been diagnosed with this virus, with three fatalities thus far. We are confident that our resilient family would bounce back. Mama, shortly after Corona could have been a thing of the past, we would assemble to start planning your 60th anniversary, hoping that we will never have a repeat of the ugly incidences that characterized your 50th anniversary celebration. Mama, with all these difficulties mentioned, we still have a lot of things to celebrate after 59 years. We still remain a religious, tolerant home. 
we have enjoyed relative peace for the last decade. We have not condemned APC and SLPP, and so the same phases still remain our leaders. Our love for strangers has given us the opportunity to play more of foreign songs on our radio and televisions, leaving songs from Salon to be proudly pirated and played on cell phones, computers, tablets, and other devices. We can be proud of the fact that even though politics tends to divide us, but sports brings us together. Mama, on this special day, we will not shake hands. We will keep the social distance and avoid public gathering. But even behind closed doors, we will promise to defend and honor your good name and most importantly, put your interest above all else. We will remain true to your favorite colors, the green, white, and blue. May your children never hurt you again. Happy 59th anniversary, Mama, and see you at 60. From one of your proud sons, Malcolm Gabriel Mana Malcolm Pana.